I feel like this is an AA meeting, man, where I'm just like, yeah, I'm here just talking about gravel riding, like it's a straight up addiction, so. <laughs> I think BC is extremely unique because of its diversity and whether or not that's diversity in terrain and the ability to ride different levels of gravel or different types of gravel across the province, or just the diversity in the community and how different approaches that people have between the kind of riding that they want to do, and whether or not that's you know, your weekend warrior that wants to go for 40k and explore the back roads, or the ultra endurance racer that wants to go race the buckshot and ride 500k in 24 hours. It's really up to you on what kind of gravel riding you want to do. and. BC is the perfect place for that. Hi, I'm Chris, and I am addicted to gravel riding. What is gravel is such a personal thing. It's like my version of gravel is different than someone else's, but like when I think of it for myself, it's doing a massive ride in you know, the back roads of British Columbia and kind of finding some crazy places and exploring there. So that's what I find it, but it could be very different for, for someone else, so. Over the last couple of years, I've realized that, or I've been exposed to this network of roads that I think, I just think of as cool gravel roads, but are really logging roads. And I'm not sure if I'm the one to say whether or not logging's right or wrong. I can just relate to the fact that I've been very fortunate to be able to explore those places on a gravel bike. But I do think it's cool that what was originally intended for something such as logging is now being repurposed into something that is so different in so many ways. Now you have all these people on bikes exploring all of these places no one really thought you'd be able to access on a bike and were originally intended for something very different, so. You, I mean, I think it's kind of the meeting point, right? Like you get the roadies, you get to people who come from the roadside and have been hit by a car a couple times and don't want to ride on the road anymore. And then you get the mountain bikers who are looking to like get their fitness up a little bit. You get the people who just love to like go slow, you know, stop for a beer and pizza at lunch and like ride super loaded. And everyone, it's like, I think it's the, the meeting point. It's like the kind of riding that connects everyone. Yeah. I think this idea has been sitting in my head for like just over two years after moving to BC because I came here not knowing about logging or gravel riding or anything like that. Having seen that over the last couple of years, I feel like I've had all of these amazing experiences on it. Really just wanted to show and give recognition to this infrastructure that's provided that and has provided that to so many people in the province. And just to give people some level of stoke on gravel riding BC, so.
I think being exposed to this community of people who are paving the way for routes and events and gravel hotels and companies and shops and pretty much everything in between has been really cool to be exposed to and that just being around the people that are in BC who are so passionate about this gets me really excited about riding my bike. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see the, the general buzz for this kind of riding. Yeah, I think I always remember um, coming to BC and being on a road bike and realizing how many forest roads were around me and trying to ride the forest roads on my road bike and basically snapping it in two. And I think it was at that point where I was like, I need a gravel bike and sold that thing, bought a gravel bike and uh, have been riding it ever since. <laughs> 